Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm back on the road, all fixed up, ready to go, ready for my long trips this week. Uh, right now, I am in Joseph City, Arizona, getting ready to take off to Jackson, Tennessee. And so I just wanted to go over with y'all real quick about what happened to me, why I got, uh, why I had to go to breakdown, and uh, what to look out for, so that way maybe it doesn't happen to you. But for me, what it ended up being is I got an SCR fault code on my uh, on my dash, and so when I saw that, I called my uh, roadside, the company's roadside service, and then they told me I had to go to uh, to a dealership to get it fixed, or to get it checked out and get it fixed potentially. So it didn't affect my driving at all. I just had to reroute where I was and go to the nearest uh, dealership that they told me to go to. And, and when I got there, they did the diagnosis for everything. This is what the guy told me that was causing the codes. He said it was this right here, this fuse right here. The problem that he said with this was that, one, this handle was broken off of this fuse here. And so he and then he said, which was causing this thing to kind of, I guess, be really loose and come out and come on and come off, which was causing the code. But then he also said that he thinks, he thinks either somebody, maybe when they were working on this at some point, probably was a little too rough with this fuse and broke the whole thing, including the including loosening up the port in the back on the actual box itself. Or, this is a running theory, right? Somebody tried to steal this fuse and they failed. And when they figured out that they failed and they broke it, they just put it back. Running theory, no confirmation on that. But either way, this was broken the port on the, where it connects to was broken or loose enough where it causes that, that fault code. So what ended up having to happen is they had to replace this, this whole piece here, right? The connector and whatnot. Plus the actual entire box itself can't just, once the port breaks or whatever is broken, you can't just take the port out. You have to replace the whole entire box. So they had to put a whole new fuse box here so that's what I was ended up being shut down for the weekend route. But they replaced it all, put everything back on. The codes are gone. I've already ran the truck for about uh, 500 miles at this point. I ran, uh, so it's been running really good, no problems. You know, knocking on knocking on uh, invisible wood because there's no wood around me. But uh, but yeah, just something to look out for there, guys. Is uh, this make sure make sure that when you're doing your, your regular pre trips, you know, when you're checking all your regular stuff around. The, uh, the engine and whatnot that one of the things you are checking for is to make sure that no one's been missing uh, especially if you've left the truck alone for an extended period of the time you want to make sure that no one's been messing around with your fuses or anything like that so just take you know take a quick peek at the open fuses here making sure nothing's broken all these handles are in place and whatnot everything's tight and secure on all the fuses and whatnot and then also just you know if you want take a peek inside of your fuse box just make sure that all your fuses are present and no one's been opening up and taking out your fuses or anything like that. Typically, if that happens, something on the inside of the truck will trigger and you'll be able to figure out, huh, something's wrong with the fuse. But uh, but yeah, just do a double check of this every now and then just to make sure no one's been messing around with this. Um, if there's any suggestions that anybody has on possibly being able to lock the hood to where no one else can open it, I'd be more than open to that because I leave my truck when I go on home time out at like a Love's or a Pilot. And you know, anything can happen there. Anybody can open up your hood and start piecing out your, your truck if they want to, really. I would hope that wouldn't never be the case. But you know, if there's a suggestion any of y'all have on locking the hood, I'd be more than happy to hear it. But uh, yeah guys, so I'm gonna get rolling here. I'm gonna do my pre-trip here. And then uh, I'm gonna get rolling and start heading to Tennessee. But yeah guys, have a good day. Drive safe out there. I'll see you out on the road.